should you be selling your house during this coronavirus pandemic? And that's the topic of my next video. Should you be listing your property now during the coronavirus pandemic? Is it better for you? What are the pros and cons of listing now versus waiting it out? How bad is this? How can it affect you if you're selling your property with the aid of a real estate agent? And when is this all going to end? And will the market recover? And if so, how quick? That's the topic of what I'm going to discuss in this video now. Make sure you watch it to the very end because there's going to be a lot of good tips in here. And I will, am going to say in preface what this is in New York State. This is Long Island. Everything in real estate is local. And so it seems that this virus, even though it's in 50 or all the states in the nation, some areas, this area in particular is being hit very hard. With that being said, right now, Long Island is or Nassau County is being hit the hardest from any other um, areas in the state. That's not good news. However, we're learning more and more about it every day. But there's so many unknowns. Keep that in mind. There are so many unknowns. Uncertainty drives people crazy. It definitely should make you be more cautious about a list in your property. I'm not saying not to. We'll discuss that in a little while. But list in your property as an agent going into a property and naturally dealing with people with the um, social distancing rules that are in effect. In New York State, real estate agents we're talking about selling your house real estate agents are still allowed to list properties we have to do it virtually we have to do it via um, the internet in some fashion that's secure and up to this point about a week ago a lot of people were using uh, video conferencing software uh, similar similar to zoom and then we just got notification that zoom is not that secure so you have to really be careful and speak to your attorney about this um, about how they want to go about communicating back and forth. And as we know, there are a lot of different components to a sale of a house. So the legal aspect, the mortgage um, aspect, banks have different rules than real estate agents do. Real estate agents and banks have different rules than attorneys do. But always seek your attorney's um, advice on how to go about the best way to do it to protect yourself. With that, I'm going to cover the real estate agent uh, role in New York State and selling your property. We are allowed right now to do virtual listings, which uh, myself and Century 21 American Homes has been using virtual uh, doc signing software for the last 18 months, so it's not new to us. So it is relatively a simple process to get your house on the MLS. But why do it? What's the advantage? What's the advantage with um, can buyers buy my house? Well, I'm going to include a link to these two videos that I did. I have made about the coronavirus, one about buying and the other about listing your house virtually. So make sure you check them out. There'll be um, the link in the description below. And that should answer most of the most of those questions. So let's get back to I list the property. I can get everything signed. I'm going to just basically go through what are the advantages well there's a lot of downtime you're sitting at home watching this youtube video and by the way if you like it definitely give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share it with all your friends who are sitting in their houses with nothing better to do the advantages are you list now you get more eyes on your your house and well i don't have pictures of my house the house has never been listed before we have we or i have um will instruct you or teach you how to take some basic shots of your property. Once things clear, we send a professional photographer into your property to get things done. Well, some people might say, well, photographers in New York State are allowed to go in there could send the essential services. Well, here's the part I'm going to touch on. I mentioned earlier about the severity of this virus. You only need to catch it once. I don't want to take the chance. I don't want you taking the chance of somebody walking in your house and even doing a virtual open house. Uh, if you're not in the house, me or any other real estate agent is putting themselves at a risk of going in there. Again, we don't know how the virus is caught. So I'd rather not take the risk and I'd rather you not go through the risk. So you can list your house virtually. You can take the pictures with our um, tips on how to do it. People are going to understand it's a brand new listing. They're going to cut you some slack. We're doing the best we can. So now your house is basically up there with everybody else's houses that have decided to list or have been up there already previous to the lockdown. 
we get calls, I get phone calls coming in about buyers wanting to buy. And once they come in, I take their name, I answer questions, I can send them more pictures uh, if they request that. And I just basically do a phone tag, contact you, email you, tell you to update pictures of the yard, of the bathroom, whatever it is they want to see, send it to them. Will they buy online? Chances are they won't. Some people might, uh, relocations that have to come in, some people have been buying without seeing properties and just using video conferencing uh, for a long time. It, it's more of a corporate thing. They do do it. Will they? Probably not. But at least now they know your property. They know if they want to continue to, if they want to see it after we get the lockdown order removed, or they just want to move on. So you can and we can market the property to the best of our ability. So that's a pro about this whole um virtual getting your house on the market now. Now, when is this going to end? Will the market recover quickly? Will it be what we call a V or will it be more of a check? I've heard economists say both. And the economists are saying because the economy and the housing market was so strong pre uh, COVID-19 that it is going to rebound. The longer it takes in uh, that we are in lockdown, the longer it's going to take to rebound. But it's not like back in 08 when we were in a recession and everything was set up. The whole system was basically out of whack. The economy was strong. It is set strong. People are waiting to work. Uh, the problem is once we start this particular economist, and I think he was called the Bowtie Economist, you can Google him. Uh, he basically said um, that it's going to take too long. It's like having a huge, huge, um, one of the hugest financial systems in the world, which it is, and everything's been put on halt. It didn't just slowly stop. It was stop like that. And then you got to fire it up again. And some companies are going to be able to rebuild with the stimulus package and get back to business, but it's going to take time. So I agree, it's probably going to be more of a check than a V recovery, but it's going to happen. So the market is going to return. The New York economy is going to get great. Long Island always had a strong housing market. The choice of whether you want to wait it out, or whether you want to put, put it on the market now and get more eyes on your property is totally up to you. Start doing some research online, learn about the process more, and this shall end and hopefully in a year or so, we're gonna be looking back on this and saying, wow, that was a crazy time, but it's over, we move on, and we appreciate the little things in life a lot more than we did before. Thanks for watching. Again, thumbs up, subscribe, I appreciate it. Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.